Hey guys, what's going on? Nexus here with a Monday, Monday, Monday upload. Uh, yeah. So, uh, this is a roulette match against J, uh, Gamer JTV, or as he's known now as Gamer or JYT Game. Okay, um, I'm just gonna call him J for now on. It's simpler for me and, uh, simpler for everybody. I almost think it's simpler for him because I saw his intro a couple videos and he seemed to mess up a lot. It's probably hard to transition to a new channel. I can never do it. Uh, so yeah. Let's see here, we have a match against Jay, like I said, it's a roulette match, with Ubers allowed, as you can tell by the team previews. Uh, he's got Claydol, Heatmore, Victory Bell, Rayquaza, Rhyperior, and Huntel. Me, I got Landorus, Gorbis, Meloda, Weezing, uh, Absol, and Livani. As you can tell from this team's, uh, he's got a major threat in the form of Rayquaza. If it's a physical hitting Rayquaza with overheat, I'm pretty much screwed in a lot of places because that thing gets a lot of time coverage more than I would like. Uh, or it has Drake a Meteor can just wreck things if it's both special and physical. Because uh, the extreme speed is what's got me worried because I was like, you know, what are the chances of something carrying priority ending up on his team? So I was like, I'll just not worry about priority when making this team. Uh, so he's got that. Surprisingly, the other big threat is Claydol. Uh... It's just really defensive, and it can set up screens or hazards, and I just don't know how to deal with that. I don't have a spinner on my team, and I have nothing that can really block hazards or break screens, because I don't have even a brick break, uh, which is kind of what I was fearing this entire match, because uh, I had a great plan going into this, but it didn't end up working as well as I thought. Uh, next to heat more not going to be a problem, honestly. Uh, I both have Gorbis, uh, Landorus, and I'm pretty sure Absol can just take it out, and Melota too. Uh, Victory Bell, same thing. I have Pokemon to hit it. Uh, Rhyperior is a tough problem if it has Rock Solid, uh, or Solid Rock, where it weakens super effective hits, because, uh, as you can tell from the match, there's a part where, like, I thought screens were down, and, yeah, it, it, if, it, if the screens were actually down, it would have decimated the Rhyperior and just probably the rest of its team at that point. Uh, but it didn't end up that way. But that's the way it goes. I mean, things don't always go the way you plan them out in your mind. You're like, oh, this is going to be a really awesome fucking set, and then you get shut down, and the Pokemon you didn't really think would be doing well would end up winning the match for you. But I digress, and let's just dive right into the battle and see how this thing goes. So here we go. Black screen of Abyss into a match against Jay. As you can tell, I'm challenged by him as he leads off with his Claydol Play-Doh. And I'm going to lay off with Baos, which is my Landorus, and just go for the safe U-turn here. Uh, want to blow the Scarf or Band as much as I can, because uh, right now, he does not have Expert Belt, and I think my Bluff might actually be a pretty good weapon, considering he does have a Levitate on a couple Pokemon, and I just don't want to go risk for doing that without them gone, so I wouldn't basically lose the Bluff. So I'm going to go for the Surf here, thinking I would be faster than the Kaleidol, uh, but I am a negative speed nature, uh, in case I just wanted a Baton Pass. A sub after a hit, just to scout moves, uh, but I don't know, I just thought it might be slower, so I'm just going to set up a substitute here, because uh, looking for that damage, I was thinking it wouldn't break my sub, uh, reason why I didn't baton pass right here, but I just decided to just go for the Cheryl Smash and waste some turns of those uh, barriers, because uh, Reflect and screen, both screens are up. The entire match, I thought it would run out the normal amount of times, and I should have been paying attention to its health, and assumed it had light clay. Because uh, during this match, I had to get up and go uh, help my wife with something, so I kind of left my DS just sitting there for a bit. So I did know screens were up when I brought in uh, Vocaloid. Uh, I just assumed they were down, or they would go out the next turn without me really paying attention. So I'm just going to go for Relic Song here, and it's going to take it out, and I'm going to switch into my Fighting Normal Form. Uh, I what it's called. I think it's called Step Form, or Dance Form. I don't forget. <laughs> Honestly, uh, we'll know when the English version, I guess, uh, English version comes up, but I mean, it's like Aria Form and Step Form. But I'm going to go for a plus two Close Combat Life Orb, and that does almost enough to kill. This is where I'm like, okay, he definitely has Reflect Up, because that should have KO'd even with Solid Rock, I would hope. Uh, but that is going to wreck me, because, uh, Rapier is pretty freaking powerful, and plus those defense drops are not going to work in my favor at all. So at this point, I'm just going to switch in boss and finish it off with Earthquake, even with Reflect Up, I feel like that would do enough damage, but did Reflect in the turn, or did it, I'm, I'm not even paying attention while I record this. 
Lol, so, uh, like a truck's gonna faint, and the reflect's gonna wear off now. So, uh, no, the reflect wasn't up. I don't want to reveal that I'm not choice yet, so, just in case he's actually naturally faster than me, or scarfed, or something like that, I'm gonna switch out into air sac, predicting the dragon dance, probably. Predicting me to be choice in some way, but he goes for the D meteor instead, which is a pretty good move on his part because uh, it pretty much destroys everything. It basically, uh, basically had a free kill on anything I switched into, or if I kept on Landorus, he would have died. But Landorus is a very key opponent, uh, key player in this match for my opponent since it will decimate a lot of things he has. So I'm going go for the HP Ice here. Uh, Rayquaza and Claydol were the main threats for me bluffing. Uh, the thing to be scarfed, which means that he thinks he can get a free switch in, into his heat more, but I'm just going to go for the EQ, because uh, no reason to bluff anymore considering the two major threats are off his team and dead. So that leaves him with uh, Huntel and Victory Bell, I believe, which is his last two Pokemon, which he's going to bring in Victory Bell right now, and he's going to go for the Sucker Punch. I'm just going to go for the U-Turn. Uh, it's also damage. That's like, damn, it's a pretty strong fucking sucker punch. I didn't know Victory Bell was that strong, but I guess he got a crit. So, yeah. Crit, power, max damage, destroys everything. So I'm going to U-turn here and switch into Die Hard, which is my Absol. Because I figured, you know, Super Luck, Night Slash, neutral damage on both Huntel and Orbis, depending on what their investments are, may be able to kill them. Uh, I'm not sure if Huntel's physically, you know, regularly bulky, but this Night Slash, I thought it might... KO regardless, considering I am adamant, I am Scarf though, uh, not Bandit, so he's going for the Shell Smash, and I was like, crap, I'm actually end up losing this, uh, depending on what type of variant he is, if he has Surf, I do believe I would have lost, uh, but he also shows me Aqua Tail, which makes me believe he's probably a physical hitting variant, and also did not see the White Herb, so I know he's not a passing, uh, didn't think he might be, he might be just passer support offensive, so I'm just going to switch passing by to finish it off with a surf. And this goes for the HP, because I know, like I said, no wider, so I know its defenses are lower now, and the stab surf should be enough to kill it, uh, which it does. So, yeah, good game, Jay. Uh, funny finish with the Gorbis versus Suntel. And, yeah, you guys can rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys coming up soon, very soon, with my Rubers match for round three of, uh, Black Spider Zebra's Rubers Tournament. Uh, once again, I have failed for the uh, third or fourth time losing in the third rounds for a stupid, like, uh, miss or something. Uh, it's just kind of funny, guys, so just check that out when it comes out. And yeah, like I said, catch you guys later. Peace.